Hello everyone, welcome to the daily reading. This is your daily message for tomorrow, Monday, May 25th, 2020. This is a reading for all signs, all signs that may be watching. It is a reading for the collective. As I always say, for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, please come get a personal private tarot reading with me or your favorite tarot reader out there. For your reading today, we are using the Fountain Tarot deck and Butterfly Oracle Cards for Life Changes by Doreen Virtue. Let's see what the messages and energies are for tomorrow. Monday, May 25th, 2020, for all signs that may be watching. Spirit, what are the most important messages and energies you want to share with my viewers for tomorrow, Monday, May 25th? saying two more two more we have the queen of wands in reverse fire sign energy leo aries sagittarius the Two of Swords Libra energy. The Five of Coins reversed Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy. Could be Taurus as well. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, Aries energy, Taurus energy, uh, Leo. Could be speaking to a fire sign today. Interesting. This fire sign energy is coming up in her shadow side element, the queen of wands in reverse. This can be someone who is very mean, catty, rude, like the mean girl in class. This can also be someone that's had a fall from grace recently. Um, or it could just be someone that is a fire sign rising, like a Leo rising, an Aries rising, a Sag rising. In any event, I see someone here with the Two of Swords who is not making a decision. Uh, they feel like they're torn, their mind is uh, in a stalemate situation. The Two of Swords is mental balance. So here we are weighing two mutually exclusive ideas in our mind. Um, but we're not able to execute either one of them. Um, they kind of cancel each other out. So someone here could be frustrated about a decision here. I feel like the longer this goes on, the more suffering there is with the five of coins in reverse. This could be someone's out in the cold here. Someone feels left out. Someone's not talking. Uh, there's abandonment going on. That's what I'm getting. It feels like uh, someone is coming out of this, though, with the five of coins in reverse. This is starting to come out of that feeling of lack, the feeling of not having enough, the feeling of there not being enough, the feeling of um, poverty mindset basically that's what it is five of coins reverse is uh, a poverty mindset interesting we have the emperor at the bottom of the deck here that's the underlying theme or challenge of the reading the emperor is someone who puts their mind and their reason and reason above everything else um they are about absolute power and control in any situation. The emperor is the king of all kings. It's the most powerful. The emperor can also represent a father figure, the father, the patriarch, the boss. Um, I've seen female energy come up as the emperor. So this can absolutely be talking about someone who's in their masculine energy.
trying to see if there's anything else. Root chakra comes to mind here with the reds that I'm getting off the emperor card. The root chakra is highlighted here. Survival issues. Um, base chakra, root chakra healing. Power and control. I'm also hearing the phrase, phrase absolute power corrupts absolutely. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. I forget who said that. I want to say it was like uh, FDR or something. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm probably wrong with that. I can't remember who said that. Leave a com Drop a comment below if you know who said that. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. A corruption of power. Also, this Two of Swords is very important. It's a Libra energy. Okay, um, it's kind of telling me that uh, someone here is putting off making a decision. Um, it's also telling me that this is creating a divide, possibly, or it's creating uh, a feeling of lack or abandonment, or there's there could just be someone here who's been left out in the cold or who feels left out. I know I already said that. Uh, the Queen of Wands in reverse can also be someone who does black magic, someone that is involved in the occult, but they don't use their powers for good. You know, we saw the magician in reverse yesterday. So this can definitely be someone who is like the mean girl in class, catty, rude, mean, um, not very nice person. Like I said, this is someone that may have had a fall from grace at some point in the past. And now they, they have a lot of power, but I feel like that power isn't doing them any good. Um, uh, someone is putting off a decision. Someone is putting off a decision here. They're remaining in power. They're remaining in control. But it's um, definitely done, it may be done intentionally, I don't know. But someone here is definitely um, uh, feeling that, feeling being shut out, being put out. Maybe someone was thrown out of their house. Someone was put out on the street. It's kind of that feeling that I'm getting. Because I kind of get the feeling that someone here has all the control and all the power, but, um, and someone here doesn't. Someone here has been left with nothing. And the longer this decision is put off, the longer this stalemate goes on, you know, it just creates further and further distance and divide. Because I'm really getting this feeling of divide and distance or divide and conquer or just divisions being created here. And and truly the Two of Swords is, I've said this before in other readings, it's, it's deeply ingrained patterning. It's behavioral, it's deep behavioral patterning. Um, it's um, like generational almost. It's not seeing, it's refusing to see, sorry. It's refusing to see the truth. Uh, it's refusing to make a decision. It's refusing to acknowledge what our intuition is telling us. And the longer that goes on, the longer the suffering continues. So I don't know, this may resonate with someone out there. Um, then I'm getting fire sign energy, getting a lot of Aries, um, getting um, definitely Mars coming up. So I'm not sure. Mars is in Aquarius, I believe. Oh no, Mars is in Pisces right now. I'm not seeing Pisces, I'm seeing Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Fire signs, earth signs, air signs. What is your guidance with regards to this reading for tomorrow? Health care change. Health care change. Someone's health is coming up here. 
Uh, the first thing that came to mind is someone's changing health care providers, but that seems kind of obvious. I mean, I mean, it seems kind of like banal to say that. Um, but yes, truly, someone could be changing health care providers, of course, but I'm getting something more than that. Let's see what it says. Here's the card, by the way. Sorry about that. I love these butterfly oracle cards. Let's see. This card is a loving sign for you to protect your health by acknowledging the changes in your body. Most likely you'll seek professional advice from a physician, naturopath, dentist, optometrist, or nutritionist so that you can plan how to best manage your health. Stay positive and also proactive. Preventative treatment is called for as a way to empower you to stay healthy for many years to come. Additional meanings, get a second opinion, change healthcare providers, study healing, recognize that you are a healer. Hmm. So I may be putting off a decision to see a doctor. Um, other things that come to mind are not being happy maybe with the current person you're with. I'm also getting something here about the preventative care. So this may be for you or for someone that you know is what I'm, I'm getting. Um, Also, this, this may be someone who's thinking about going, getting therapy or getting help for someone. I'm definitely getting someone here that may struggle with addictions or someone that lives with someone that struggles with addictions. Um, I get that it's very frustrating here. I definitely get that it's very frustrating. And um, there may be unintended uh, side effects as well. Uh, maybe the um, drugs that you're on or the prescriptions or the medications or whatever are, are, are having are giving you unwanted side effects. Obviously, the five of coins reverse is not great. It can be suffering. It can be here someone who is suffering, uh, poor health. Um, but, uh, you know, with the card in reverse, it's telling me that stop focusing on what you lack and start focusing on ways to get help. Okay. Um, maybe get a second opinion. Maybe go see another doctor. Um, don't be afraid to reach out for help. Don't be afraid to reach out for help, period. Um, staying stuck, staying, feeling helpless. Um, you know, someone here may be really suffering because they, they are not putting off getting help. They're putting off getting treatment. Um, maybe your healthcare provider, the person that you're seeing right now, you don't like them. Maybe they give you the right... They, they tell you what you want to hear or whatever they they give you the, they give you what they what you want but at the same time you don't you just don't like them or you feel like something's off or you don't trust their opinion whatever the case here others of you I think that changing your environment would be helpful for some of you and because um, I'm getting some blockages here. Okay. All right. Guys, this is your reading for tomorrow. Again, it, it's, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, I like the idea of being proactive here when it comes to our health. Um, if you're starting to notice unwelcome changes, you're starting to notice things that you don't like, that's a good idea to uh, to monitor and to write down and record and maybe even um, start taking steps so that you get the help that you need. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out. If you want to book a personal private chair reading, you can find that information below in the description box below this reading. And um, thank you so much for 
tuning in. Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.